Genesis chapter 29, and I read verse 21. And Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. Give me my wife, that I may go in unto her. Give me my wife, that I may sleep with her. Give me my wife, that I may be together with her. Those were the words of, of Jacob to, to Nabal. Of course, Nabal was his uncle. Nabal was his father, you know. Rishi, the wife of, of Jacob, was the daughter of Nabal. Now, Jacob has served Nabal for 21 years because of Rishi. When he ran away from from his father's house because he deceived his his, his father, his late father Isaac, he now came to the neighbor and he saw Rachel. He fell in love with Rachel for twenty one years. He served, he served, he served, he served, he served, he served uh, neighbor, and because of Rachel, he served neighbor for seven years. And after the seven years, he said, "Give me my wife." that I may go into her. Which means if she's not your wife, you don't have right to go into her. If she's not your wife, you don't have right to sleep with her. If you have not paid the dowry, you don't have right to go into her. If you have not done the customary rights over that woman or with that man, you don't have right to sleep together. It's a sacrilege, sacrilege. It's an abomination. It's a sin. And it's so happening. It has become, it has become the practice, it has become the norm. Living lovers. Cohabitation. People are bringing their girlfriends home and sleeping with, it, with them. People are bringing their boyfriends home, sleeping with them under the roof of their parents. And people don't say anything wrong with it. I'm a father. My my child brings her his girlfriend home. Girlfriend. Sleeping with her, going to it into her. And I see it as you know, as I mean God. Give me my wife. If she is not your wife, don't sleep with her. If she's not your wife, don't go into her. If she's not he is not your husband. Don't go to and sleep overnight. Abba, you call yourself a Christian. So what is the, what do you believe? What do you what? You are a pretender. Give me my wife for seven years. He served. He paid the dowry. If you have not, if you are not married, you are not married. You know. The Bible says in the New Testament that Joseph and Mary, they were engaged, but they didn't come together. The Bible cannot be broken. So don't throw yourself into a loaf of bread that every man is sleeping with. Every boy you are dating, you have dated 10 men, and none of them have slept with you several times. And you can still continue to date. You don't say anything wrong. Sex has become meat pie. That you, you know, but men have, have folding your body like toy. Your body has become a toy because everybody sneaks with you. Give me my wife that I may go into her. He, Jacob could, could boast because Rachel has become his wife. So give me. If she's not your wife, don't go into her. If she's not your wife, don't sleep with her. If you have not paid the dowry, you have not done the customary right, you have not done the traditional right, the families have not have not known each other. You people are just dating boyfriend, girlfriend, and you are sleeping with yourself. You are cohabiting. You know, and you think it's the right thing, it's the wrong thing. If you don't know, know today. You don't have right to sleep with him or to sleep with him with her if she's not your wife don't go into her keep yourself remain holy don't defy your body your body is the temple of god flee from fornication flee from premarital sex flee from adultery 
Don't cheat. All this hook up, hook down. I mean, be a Christian. Heaven is free. Hell is free. Few people are going to heaven. Don't allow the lust of the flesh to deny you a place in eternity. I rebuke the spirit of fornication, the spirit of premature death, uh, premature sex, the spirit of lust, the spirit of adultery. I cast it out. I rebuke it. I, I, I in, with the word of God, the blood of Jesus Christ, receive the spirit of self-control. Separate yourself with that man who is not your wife. Separate yourself from that woman who is not your wife that you are living with, that you are sleeping with. You have become a toy, an instrument of, of passion, an instrument of lust. If he's not your husband, don't sleep with him. Don't sleep with him. If he's not your wife, don't sleep with him. Don't sleep with her. It is well with you. You shall follow the Bible. You shall not follow the word. The Bible doesn't change. The word of God is forever and it's rational. We can't be sleeping. We can't be sleeping with, with ourselves. The Bible says, get a wife or husband for yourself rather than burning with passion. If all these moral laws are not there, the Bible is a moral law. So you can just be sleeping with anybody. You know, you sleep with this, you sleep with that. And that is why there is HIV AIDS all over the place. That's why there is so many sexual sicknesses and diseases. So it makes sense that let every man get his own husband and let every man get his own wife. Let every woman get his own husband. So that means there could be some level of decency. You can't be sleeping, you know, 10, ten people, you can't be sleeping with everybody on the street. It is well with you. God will give you the spirit of self-control. God will purify you, eat you. God will cleanse you. You shall be a Christian, not a pretender. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Receive the power to live in holiness and righteousness. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If it's not your wife, don't sleep with, 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 with her. If it's not your husband, don't sleep with him. Draw a line of boundary for boy, for relationship in dating. Don't, don't start visiting him and... You are a Christian. Be a Christian. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.